Hi. In this video, I want to show you where to get and how to install a program called Undelete 360. Now, I've got a web browser open with the Undelete 360 homepage on it. And this is our website of the week, so you should be able to find this easily through Angel. There's a couple things I need to tell you about it, though, as we go. First of all, we'll go to the download link and click on that. And then here in the download page, you'll notice that there's two versions, desktop version and portable version. I'm going to download the desktop version because I want to recover a file that's been deleted from my flash drive. And you never want to be running the recovery software from the media you need to recover files on. For one thing, the installation may take up the disk space where the deleted files are, and that'll make them unrecoverable. Uh, also, when you recover a file, it needs to be put somewhere, and you don't want it to be put on the drive that you're trying to recover files from. You need to have it put somewhere else. So the rule of thumb is this. When you're recovering from your hard drive, do it from a portable. When you're recovering a portable drives files, do it from the desktop, PC, or uh, from the built-in hard drive on a laptop. All right, so I'm going to go to this first one here, click the uh, link, and I'm going to save this. I've got a folder here, Intro to Computers Week 8, and I'm just going to save that this is a small file, just two megabytes, would almost fit on a little floppy disk, and so it's a pretty quick download. As soon as we get that, I can open up the folder where that went and just right click on it and choose Run as Administrator if you have that right. You could just try running it. It'll probably work, but the general rule of thumb is when you install a file system utility program, and Undelete 360 certainly is one of those, you want to install it as an administrator so that it has the proper uh, permissions to be installed the way it's supposed to. I'm going to run that as the administrator. That's going to bring up a little bit of a warning box here. 